Hey, how you guys doing? I'm Mike Lex. Yeah, so the KV4. Now I'm showing you this picture because there's no better way to describe this is the angle that you want to face people while you're in this tank. Which sounds kind of stupid to give so much of your side, but the reason why that why you'd want to do that is because it has 180 millimeters of armor in the front and it has 150 on the sides. The weakest point is in the very back of it, it's 90. And then on the back of the turret, it's actually 140, which means shooting the back of the turret is actually not a good idea. You really want to get behind this tank and shoot it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and talk about its downfalls. The mandala right there, that machine gun on top of it, if you shoot that, you're going to pin it. And I've pinned it with tier 7s from across the map, so not so good of a thing to have on a tank. But um, I will say that, you know, that's probably the only weak point on the top of the tank. Now I will say that 180 millimeters, although it sounds like a lot of armor, it's only good if angled. So if you guys have ever played the Tiger tank, you, this is a you know perfect angling armor. Is that picture I showed you? So um, 30 kilometers, which is not that good. Um, it's got 18 degrees of chassis rotation plus 20 degrees on the turret. That pretty much means this: stay with a group. Otherwise, you are going to get circled, and once you do, it's game over. Your turret is not going to be able to spin quick enough to even, I mean, 20. That means that only something that's doing 20 miles an hour or 20 kilometers would you actually be able to track. And that would be while you were rotating. So nothing, you know, you're talking another heavy is probably the only thing that you can prevent from circling you. And a slow one at that. So 350 millimeters of, of view range, which kind of says this. You can go uh, assault like me, but I'm gonna go ahead and say that without um, without your your friends, this tank is just gonna get wasted. You also want to be careful of artillery. Why it's such a big target to hit? You know, it really is one of the biggest tanks in the game. And, I mean, long. You know, if you look at it, it's just humongous. Um, now I'm gonna use it in the best way possible, which is one, it's really good to go aggressive with this tank, but only if there's no artillery. Artillery will take sight on you. So I did want to talk about the guns on this. Most people that go for the KV-4, they either don't like the IS line, or maybe they just wanted to do this one. But uh, most people that I've met are going down this line. They're actually, you know, they came from the IS-7, and although they like the IS-7, the speed on the IS-7 is kind of disappointing. It's really a shame that they don't give it a little bit more. I mean, it says it does 60, so they obviously had a plan for it. I mean, I, I mean, it doesn't need to do 60 kilometers an hour, but it should be doing better than 33 on flat ground, you know, which is terrible. That's three more than this. So most people that I know of, if, if you look at this, where he's shooting me and stuff, <clears throat> he's actually shooting me the AT-15A. That thing actually has enough penetration to pin 180. So as long as I stay angled, he cannot pin me. And you're going to see it here, I'm basically just, you know, trying to let him, you know, he can see red on my tank when he's looking at me. He's actually using red rounds, as you can see, um, which I don't actually know if that's APCR or not. So the first upgrade they give you is a tier 707, which is not that good. It can't really pin anything. Then they give you 122 tier 7, which is pretty good if you use some premium shells. And then, of course, then they give you a tier 8 122. And then they give you another tier 8 with the uh, gun that you're the with the uh, turret that you see on it now with the gun mandala. The one before this actually has uh, a smaller hatch on it, so you really don't start noticing people hitting you so much until you get the second upgrade. Which I'm gonna go ahead and say that besides making you slower and not be able to see, the KV422A is probably better than this one. But I'm gonna say that. You know, you do need the tier 907, the final upgrade. Now, I'm going to show you guys some uh, secrets to taking out the IS-3, which, if you're in a tall tank like this, as you guys can see, um, the sheer weight of this can... I can throw this guy around like a ragdoll. I'm actually allowing him to push me, because it does cause damage. But you're going to see, when I fire, I'm going to shoot him right on the plate on the front, or on the top of his turret. All ISs have it, except the IS-7, but right there, you shoot a high explosive round, you, you most likely do max damage to him. Now, this is a terrible thing to have happen to you, and that is while you're going head to head with somebody, somebody starts shooting at you. Now, this uh, AT-8, I think it is, he quickly realizes, I'm pretty sure, that he cannot pin me. 
I'm actually being pinned by the Mutant 6 or the M2 or M6, whatever it, it's called. Um, you know, they just re-released it for purchase. I really don't like it. I think it's a really tall, you know, tall tank. It has really good gun depression from what I've been told. Um, but I'm really looking forward to the STI, which is, you know, we're coming up to the end of this. and. I just wanted to say that uh, my personal opinion of this tank is it's too slow and it's it's too armored, you know, to do anything. I'd say that I'd much rather sacrifice a little bit of armor and have 37, you know, kilometers an hour and more maneuverability, especially when it comes to this. I've actually, um, you get in tier 10 matches a lot in this tank. And I'm going to go ahead and say that there's nothing really you can do to escape. Most tier 10s are way faster than this. They can pin you, you know, so even if you angle your armor, you know, you, you will bounce a lot of shots, but on average, you really want to look for those tier 8 lobbies or tier 8, maybe even a tier 9 with a couple 10s and it is okay. Be really super careful of artillery. They aren't going to get you with one shot. This thing is actually pretty heavily armored on the top of it. The problem is, is that once you get tracked, it takes so long to, to, re, to fix the tracks on this thing. That um, I'm just going to say that you might benefit from that kind of a perk, or maybe even carry two two repair kits and don't use a health kit or something, because I get tracked a lot by artillery and then I get killed almost immediately after. If somebody does get the alongside of you, they can pin that 150 millimeters. But if you really want to think about that, that's 50 millimeters more than the Tiger, so. You only really have to worry about tier 9s and tier tier 8s. You're going to see here that this tier 8, it does 181, which is the type 59. He's actually going to try and shoot me. And at no matter what angle he shoots me, he is not going to pin me. Even if he uses premium rounds. Um, the reason why is that 180 millimeters angled on the turret. And then I'm at a weird angle. It's why I zoom away like that. So that I can get the most effective armor. Now I can see something to the right shooting at me as well. I get a couple lucky shots on him, but as long as I keep moving, it makes that gun mandala really hard to hit, and it's why I'm actually doing it, just so I can survive. Um, and there is definitely something shooting at me, so I would say that I probably would have died here if they went into caps. <laughs> you know? Um, but other than that, I mean... This is pretty much a, an average game for me right here, you know, getting one to three kills and the, the blocks that you're going to see here, 4100 is pretty average. You can do less than that, you can get killed a lot quicker than that, but overall pretty good uh, good tank. Um, uh, yeah, um, if you guys like this, you know, hit the like button and of course comment and subscribe and have a good one. Later.